Hey everyone, I'm Nicole, an occupational therapist, and together with Stephanie, the physical therapist, we make up the Note Ninjas. We help other PTs, OTs, assistants, and students come up with treatment ideas and documentation. Today, I want to cover something that maybe you probably can relate to, but we just don't really talk about it. So what happens when you just don't know what to do with a patient? You just can't come up with a treatment idea. You feel like you've you're just getting tired of doing the same activities over and over again. One of the things that I like to do is just incorporate cleaning. So incorporating cleaning tasks works on so many skills. Obviously it is very functional as well, but there's so many skills that you could be doing with your patient. So if you're sweeping, you know, you're working on balance, you're working on upper extremity coordination, you're working on bilateral coordination, grip strength, um, all those as uh, strengthening, there's so many different skills that you're working on. What about towel slides, wiping the counter? You're working on range of motion with your shoulder, with your hand. Um, you can do some squeezes with that to work on grip strength. There's really so much you could do. Window washing, then that, that you're really working on that shoulder range of motion. You can go in all different directions, things like that. Um, Vacuuming too, you can work on a little bit more ambulation. That's maybe for some more higher level patients, but work on ambulation, work on balance, you know, working on trunk mobility, all things like that. So just a tip because we understand you sometimes just get tired of doing the same things over and over again, or maybe you just don't want to be creative that day. But being cleaning, you're kind of it's kind of a win-win because especially if you're working in home health in the patient's home or even in an assisted living or a skilled nursing facility where they have their own room, you're helping them clean, even though if they have that service, um, it's still making them feel purpose and meaningful. So we think it's a win-win all around. You're working on so many skills, you're giving them purpose and you're cleaning their apartment, reducing clutter, picking up things from the floor, so many different ideas. So just take a look around. What can you clean? What can you organize? Then you're working on visual scanning, you're working on cognition, problem solving. I could keep going on, but you get the point. So for more treatment ideas and documentation tips, make sure to follow us, the new ninjas.